Deborah, where are we right now? We are in the yoga studio at Ken Island Yoga and Wellness. And we have a lot of fun stuff planned today. We do. Chris yes. and I are doing the whole shebang. The whole thing, <laughs> yep. So you'll feel much better when you walk out of here today, hopefully, than when you walked in. Yeah, we're a wellness center operation. We have yoga, both group and private classes. And we have an acupuncturist, a massage therapist, and a beautiful salt water float therapy tank. I really can't hear you right now. No, here, just let me, let me give you a nudge. Here, just float, oh, float that thank one you. in. Have fun, buddy. We'll pick thank you up in you. an hour. So what we have here is a float tank. Uh, it's also known as uh, reduced external stimulation therapy. And what it is, it's a tank that contains about eight inches of water, a thousand pounds of salt. And what it does, it uh, reduces the sensation, uh, reduces sensation to the brain, allows the brain to actually relax. The temperature of water is 94, 95 degrees, so it's external body temperature. You kind of lose the sensation of touch. It's the only one in Queen Anne's County. It's, so they want, there. they have to come here. That's it. Chris is enjoying child pose. Yes, he is. And he's doing a little private yoga with you right now, right? Absolutely, yes. We offer private yoga sessions um, tailored to individual needs, goals, um, helping people to regain flexibility and mobility in their body, helping them to recover from injuries, helping them especially to manage stress and just letting them tailor the practice to what their personal goals are. I would say probably like 50% of the people that walk into the studio have back issues. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, it's quick to mention too, we're doing personal yoga now, but you also said there's a schedule, there's classes. Yeah, we so have, we have a, a variety of group classes. They range from really super gentle chair yoga for um, beginners mm -hmm. or people that can't get up and down off the floor easily, to power vinyasa class, mm -hmm. to rocket yoga, which is kind of at the top of... Oof. There's a lot of um, power, strength, a lot of inversions, a lot of floating in and out of handstands and headstands and that sort of thing. So and that's where uh, Frost comes in, right? That's where Frost teaches. Yeah, so class. I give him yes. a personal recommendation because I've taken a class with Frost uh, he's and he's a lot of fun. Teacher. He yeah. is a fun teacher. You're guaranteed to laugh. Yeah at least five times in every class he <laughs> yeah. teaches, which is great. Acupuncture is an Eastern healing science. Um, it works a lot with opening energetic meridians, using needles and herbs and all kinds of other good relaxing therapies. How does it feel right now? I, I feel normal. I really didn't feel anything. So. We would be asking about, you know, his nutrition and how's he sleeping and what kinds of exercise for sure he's getting. But other kinds of questions like, you know, how able is he to express his anger? Some of the potential meridians that are affected when he showed me um, where that exact pain was, I said, well, you know, that's a gallbladder meridian. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of like an energetic plumber. I find out where the blocks are okay. and I insert the needles mm -hmm. to make that chi move more efficiently. Through the evaluation and through feeling his pulses and doing a little bit more exploring, we might find that his knee pain isn't necessarily because he was a sports injury from football 20 years ago, um, but that it might be a spleen or a stomach deficiency. We have a massage therapist who specializes in deep tissue, and she also does Ayurvedic massage, if any of you are familiar with that, with hot oils. This is called a Shira Jara treatment, and it's an Indian treatment for Ayurveda. Um, it's used for relaxation, for um, addressing the nervous system, um, adrenaline system. Um, it's really good for people with anxiety. This is, basically, it's oil, you said it was like around 104 degrees. Yes, it's oil, it's, it's um, sesame oil with an Ayurveda oil, which is uh, has herbs in it. Mm -hmm. And it's used just for Shiradara. I was gonna say, how's that feel, first? I feel like the most amazing bag of popcorn. <laughs> You can check our website, KenIslandYogaAndWellness.com, and we're also on Instagram and Facebook under the same name, and we now have a new YouTube channel where we've been posting free videos for the community to help get them through this um, social distancing that we're all going through.